Good morning. It's officially the 1st of July. I feel like from this month to the next month to the next month is going to go by really fast. So I just got ready for the gym. Got to start off the week strong and do back. Here she is. Here's the bump update. On John's end, it should be the 2nd of July. He's a little bit in the future. I think he's leaving July 4th there. Sorry, he's leaving July 5th in his time zone. So he'll be arriving on the 5th in our time Mama. zone. What's up, baby? Oh, eggs. What eggs? Yeah. Got it? Get closer. Okay, don't get the shell in there, huh? Get Mama the shell. Good job. No shell. Good job. I'll clean your hands after. Do one more egg. Give me the shell. Open it up. Okay, wanna wash your hands now? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, cool. Please. Please. Just made a Japanese style egg. It's hot, baby. You gotta blow it. Mm. Remember, chew. Chew all the way, baby. Okay? Good job, baby. Mama, will you see me? Mm-hmm. I'm watching you. <laughs> Good job, baby. Good job, baby. Uh, I'm done. No, still more, baby. Look. One more bite. Okay, all done. Good job, baby. Just dropped off Kami at grandparents' house. I haven't gone to the gym for the past three days. This is my favorite energy drink. I've taken energy drinks throughout my whole pregnancy with Kami when I went to the gym. The doctor says that you can have 200 milligrams or less, and this is exactly 200 milligrams. I have caffeine about twice a week, and that's usually on my heavy lifting days like back and legs. There's a lot of things that doctor says you shouldn't be doing. They say don't lift more than a certain amount of kgs, but I did it anyways. I didn't want to tell my doctor because I didn't want to worry her. I was told before by other experienced pregnant women that work out as much as I do, it's okay to lift as much as you did before pregnancy. You definitely should not do more than you can handle because obviously when you're doing something you're uncomfortable with, it adds stress to your body. Don't change anything about your previous activity levels, but definitely don't add anything that would unnecessarily stress your body out if you've never done it before. If you're not pregnant or you're planning, or if you are, and early stages of pregnancy i highly recommend to get some foundations for deadlifts for squats i think those two workouts for me have assisted me through my entire pregnancy especially during third trimester when you are carrying so much heavier learn how to activate two things your transverse abdominis and your pelvic floor those are the two things that i feel women relax on as we progress through pregnancy which also makes it very difficult to recover all right so aside from exercise top i would say for diet to eat as much whole foods as as possible definitely listen to your body my first trimester I'm gonna be honest I did not really eat the best because there was a lot of things that for some reason I couldn't put down I was so nauseous and everything just sounded disgusting to me when I would think something sounded good John would go get the thing that sounded good to me I would try and it was like immediately no afterwards always leftovers I also could not cook for a few months so I felt really bad John was always the one running out to get us the food because I couldn't move. I was extremely fatigued. There was no comfortable position for me. I would lay down the majority of the day and just be a potato. Stick to something that you can consistently eat on a daily basis. Like I couldn't even eat rice. This pregnancy was a little weird because rice is considered plain, but for some reason when I would smell rice, because rice does kind of have a scent, I would just be repulsed by it whatever is plain to you eat that because what's plain for me might not be plain for you i've mentioned this before but the difference between the first pregnancy and this pregnancy i have normal cravings pre-pregnancy when it's time to eat then i'll just 
name something to eat, but it would kind of just be in the rotation of things that we already enjoy. When I was pregnant with Kame, every single day there was something new that I wanted and there was a lot of nostalgia going on for me in terms of my palate. I would remember a flavor or something I've eaten before a long time ago. That would be my craving. But with this one, if anything, she doesn't like a lot of things. Yesterday, Kame and I went to go get cheeseburgers. She likes cheeseburgers. There was chili cheese fries on the menu and I tried it and it was delicious. I thought it was delicious but I was cramping so bad I couldn't pick up any of Kame's toys when I was trying to pick up his Hot Wheels to bring to the bathtub for him. I was struggling. So there's a lot of things that she actually doesn't like. So I feel like she's much more pickier than Kame. I think she just really likes a lot of refreshing things. I've been buying a lot more fruits for her. She likes the tart fruits. Plum cots are in season. She likes the crunchy peaches. She likes jackfruit. And I'm not a boba person. She loves boba. Fruit tea, more tea heavy. And I don't drink boba. When I was pregnant with Kame, I didn't drink boba at all. Even when we had our boba shop, I think for the whole entire duration of us owning the boba shop. I've had boba maybe less than five times in my drink. We'll be entering 25 weeks this week. Now that we're a little more than halfway, she's progressively started kicking and moving so much more now. Before I put Kami to bed, she gets a little crazy with her kicks. She's been punching, kicking, doing all kinds of combos. Sometimes that keeps me up a little longer than I should be up for because I know Kame is gonna be up a certain time, regardless of whatever time he falls asleep at. Also Kame, he's turning three this year, but he's still breastfeeds only at night. It's the only thing that brings him comfort to immediately fall asleep. Sometimes he doesn't. So I'm like naturally letting him wean off. He doesn't drink as much as he used to. It's gotten a lot more uncomfortable because I think that my breast is, you know, trying to grow to adapt to the pregnancy. I think I've been just chronically sore. I don't know what it's going to be like when she comes out and I start breastfeeding her. We'll see how we adapt to a life with two. Both of our hands are going to be a little full. I know it's only temporary I'm just curious to see how we're gonna juggle with that. So real quick where we live there's firework booths everywhere. Every single parking lot that has a grocery store where I used to live we would have to drive all the way out to Orange County to get fireworks. I think we just did this more recently but for the past three years we've been stopping by the firework booth and grabbing a thing or two. Uh, since John's not gonna be here on exactly 4th of July I'll uh, grab a couple of extras so we can just do it the day after. It wasn't even the first of July yet and people were shooting fireworks outside. <laughs> This is my life. Let's pretend it was a great. Gonna go out to eat with a friend. This time, I'm gonna make sure that I feed baby girl really well because yesterday I was cramping all day. I could not get up. Like I mentioned, I will do my best to feed you well today. The rice is under that. Day one. Uh, rehearsals. Let's see. Cookies made it here in one. Uh, let's go. It's Jackson Wing rehearsal time. Let's get it, Kinjas. Let's go. Ooh, let's go. We're back in bed. We're back, boys. Let's get it. Let's get it. Having Ahead. some magic cookies. Let's go, brother. <laughs> That's when I die. This is our exclusive blueberry crumble. These are, I mean, you don't eat it all at once. Can we share this? One is good. One is good. Yeah. yeah. This is. No, like, like. 
Give it to me. I just opened it. <laughs> there you go, brother. It's the blueberry. Exclusive? <laughs> Exclusive, brother. Yeah, this is not sold. Let's go, bro. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's been over a whole year, right? Your last birthday is when we gave you. We want to be a distribution in Asia. Yo. We got, we've been waiting. We've been waiting to, the, to like come over to Asia, bro. <laughs> Thank you, brother. By the way, there's no eggs, no dairy. These are vegan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why they're called magic. Uh, so we use we use like a flaxseed uh, preservative uh, to replace the eggs. So these are shelf stable. They like last. If you just keep it in these wrappers and you keep it on your, your table, it lasts like two weeks. And you open it, you will taste the same. And then if you want to put it in your freezer, it lasts six months. Oh, so you can just put it in your freezer? You put it in the freezer, yeah. Because we as soon as we baked it, we wrapped it. Yeah, these are brownies. So these are also dairy-free. Egg free, vegan, everything. Oh. everything, bro. You're Is safe. It you're a vegan? No, we we wanted to go dairy free because lactose intolerant, oh. right? Our, our whole family and friends are all lactose intolerant. Um, but then we, at the same time, we're like, well, we can make it all plants, so we made everything. Yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> of course, dude, man. You hustled hard today. You earned it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Love you, brother. Counting, baby. 18, 19. All right, good morning, you guys. Today is the second, and we're gonna go get donuts for Kami because that's what he wants this morning. I do have a little workout session later. It's just gonna be upper body, arms, and shoulders. And maybe I'm gonna do a little bit of cardio because I haven't done my cardio for a week now. Yes, baby? What do you wanna tell mama? You want donuts? Say donut time. Donut time. Yay, donut time. <laughs> It is a hot day today. Welcome to summer in California. It's not as hot as Texas or Vegas, but summer is such a gross season. I do prefer sun over rain, so that's okay. As long as I can stay indoor most of the time and enjoy the cool AC, then it's totally fine. I could have totally worked out at home today, but I wanted to go to the gym gym because I want to get a cardio session in. When John was home, he was running with his dad evening times and I would sometimes take Kami out and do a little run with them as well. Whenever we go for a walk, Kami loves getting picked up. Kami can actually finish a whole mile of running. So I know he's capable of it, but when we go for walks, he just wants to be held. We can do cardio at home. We have ladders, we have box jumps that we can do. But like I said, it is did you just jump to Greece? I probably would have a heat stroke and definitely not good for pregnant women to be out in the heat. Also, my skin, you can kind of see it here. But every summer, I always get a heat rash. It's It can happen anywhere. It could be on my arms, it could be on my neck, it could be in the back of my ear, my legs. Then the only thing that I can do is apply the anti-itch cream. And unfortunately, Kami contracted that from me. Papa is completely fine in the sun. The only issue that I have with Papa is that he never wears sunblock and he knows that it's so bad for your skin. He'll remember sometimes, but his reapplication game is really bad. I feel like with this pregnancy, since it is my last pregnancy, I want to set up at least two maternity shoots just like I did with Kame. We've been doing like videos where John and Kame run up to my belly and give Kame a kiss. It's cute. We're not really good at doing it weekly because every single week I don't think it looks significantly different than the week before. I try to gauge in the mirror when I feel like it looks much bigger. When I was 22, 23 weeks, she was only a pound. From now up until I give birth, she should be putting on at least six more pounds. All right guys, to the gym we go. Okay, just got home from the gym. It was so crowded by the way, oddly, being that it was 2.30. Mommy, I'm trying it. You wanna try that, baby? Yeah. I just came home to this. It says fragile. Fragile? Yeah, fragile. Oh. I think this is from Dada. What is this, Papa? Oh, look 
what Daddy got. Wow. <gasps> Daddy got Mama another forever flower. Hmm? Aw, look, Bubba. It's from Daddy. Mm -hmm. July Ruby. That is my birthday month. That is my birthstone. Ruby is a symbol of passion and success. The captivating red gem is said to promote harmony and courage. Did you know that early astrologer, astrologers believed each gemstone brought healing powers to people born in each respective month? Ruby's astrological signs are held in Cancer and Leo, me and Kame, known for their role in love and good luck. Oh my goodness. Look at the ruby inside. Whoops. Oh my god, that smells so good. He's so thoughtful. You're so thoughtful, Papa. I love what? it. I thought this was a letter, but it's not a letter. I always tell him that I love like the notes more than anything. So I save them. I save all little cute notes. Thank you, Papa. That's so sweet. This is so thoughtful. Do I take him out? Oh yeah, I take him out of this one. So it's like that. Oh, it smells. It smells good? Yeah. Oh, it smells. Mwah. 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 Papa's so sweet. After six, almost six years of being together, he still gets me flowers. Here's my other forever flower that he got me years ago. This is my first forever flower. And then here is the other one. This is his little birthday gift to me since he can't be here. But he'll be here like literally a day after. So he's so funny. Here's the better look at the flower inside the rose. Oh. Hey, baby. This is one of Kame's favorite dishes. Right after, I usually add some ice cubes in there so it can cool it down faster for him. And then for dessert, I picked up some jackfruit for a baby girl's request. Here's our lunch. It's udon with egg, mushrooms, edamame, and then it's topped with some seaweed. Yum. Mm-hmm. I forgot to eat a spoon. <laughs> you got the egg. Mama. Hamid's been eating udon noodles since he was first able to eat noodles. So he loves them. Ever since he got into udon noodles, I started legging udon myself. Really quick to make. Mama. Yes, baby. Same thing. Mm-hmm. Mommy's just spicy. Again? Yeah. Again. Either this week or next week, I'm thinking of getting Kame a haircut. Papa just got his haircut. Well, I don't think I want to match Kame's haircut with Papa's haircut because his haircut is pretty short. Trim this a little bit, keep the back long. That way the food gets out of his mouth. I got this Chinese snack. It's really good. John brought it home one time. I want to try it. And I want to try it. I finally found it in the store. I want to try it. La I see it. I don't know. It comes with a lot. How many love these last time? We were looking all over for them. They're like wheat gluten strips and they're seasoned with this Chinese barbecue spice. It's slightly sweet. It's very greasy. Yeah. But they're good. They're really fun to eat. Mm -hmm. Papa loves these, so only 100 calories for a bag. Mommy, bag. Greasy. Although this doesn't taste like very much like the one Papa got. The one Papa got was a little more spicier and it had more powder. We actually have it at home. Like a bag of uh, Chinese barbecue spices. But you'll find them at Hot Pot. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. <laughs> So it is day two. We just had rehearsals today. And then uh, awesome thing is my barber uh, from Shanghai is actually down to give us haircuts here at the hotel since his shop is actually being renovated right now. I have some cookies here for him. And uh, yeah, it's been about four years since I've seen him. So I'm excited. Let's go. Ah, oh, shoot, it's my brother Xiao. We're from Emperor's Culture, his barber shop over here in Shanghai, but it's being renovated. I'm excited. I have not been getting my hair cut from him for so long. And this time I have so much hair, no more dreads. No more the dreads. The tongbian, uh, gone. So now it's just long hair. I have no idea what to do. So we're gonna go over a few different styles. Yeah, we'll see what works. Let's do it.
damage report. <gasps> All right, I'm gonna need to wash my hair and then we'll see how to style it. Hey, take a photo of this and send it to me because this is good times, man. Haircuts in a hotel is always good times. Happy Wednesday. I'm getting a cookie box delivery ready. And that's that. So uh, a friend of ours who also is a huge supporter of our cookies, they're coming down. Garbage truck. Where? Bobby truck means garbage truck. So I've got a box here for them. And then we're gonna head out and get some lunch in the area. What's that? Pull, pull, pull. You want to see the pull, pull? birthday lunch yeah it's really nice when our friends still make time to hang out with us even though we have kids it is a little challenging taking a toddler out to eat at the restaurant because he tends to think that we're at home and so he runs around the restaurant but overall he's a really good kid when he's out like today i'm gonna clean up we clean every day but today will be kind of like a deep book. cleaning day a little bit of mommy, dusting because the house mommy, we have mama, a lot of dust everywhere go back. hello are we going under the tunnel together Shoo. Zoom. Yep, gonna clean up the house. Can I have it? No. <laughs> can I have it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy, try this. Can I go under the tunnel? No. Why? You're too big. Oh, I'm too big. Oh, man, I'm sad. Can I go under the tunnel? Yeah, you're small. Okay. You, Yay! You small. Can Optimus Prime go under the tunnel? Yeah, you small. Okay, let's try it. Ah, uh, almost! I did it! Can you go under the tunnel? Yeah. Okay, go this way. Go this way. <gasps> Can I go under the tunnel? No, you big. Oh man! Tunnel! Oh, oh try this. What? He fits? Yeah. I'm gonna pull him from this way now. Pull him out. Oh, he goes under the tunnel. He fits, Kame. Can Bluey go under the tunnel? Yeah. <gasps> oh, can I go under the tunnel? No, you big. Can I try? No, you big. <laughs> oh. I don't fit. I told you. House is officially clean. Kami put away his toys. You taking out the trash too? It smells. It smells, I know, because it's for the trash. Let's go, baby. Okay. Ready to get toys? Yeah, I'm ready to get toys. Okay, let's go. They're all here, baby. We just got back from Daiso and I picked up this. If you guys don't know what this is. Give me. They're Japanese gummy candies. They have like a sushi, a ramen. I'm gonna try this hamburger one. There's all these instructions on how to make each component in this. We got the ketchup, the french fries, soda, and the burgers. I've tried these before and they're really fun to make. They're not good. Wow. Go ahead and mix it. There you go. Press it down. 
Wow. Gentle. Cut me. Yep. We're at the finish line. Okay, wants us to cut. The burgers are coming together. What? Cool man. Put the ketchup. Cool man. E mama. Okay, hi. Huh? Almost done. Ooh. Smells good. Oh, yeah, I'm kidding. Okay, let me clean this up first. I'll give it to you. It's too mean. Oh, it's dropping. Uh-oh. Huh? Bone apple tea. Let's try our little gummy hamburger. It's not terrible. Try soda? Okay. Ooh, it's like a sour juice. That's your dinner tonight. <laughs> oh, and hey, what's this? Cheeseburger. Mm-hmm. What's it called? This one? Yeah, you can eat it one by one. I'm waiting for fish. You're waiting for fish? Mm-hmm. It's actually a yeah. Yeah. Come here. <laughs> You're gonna give you a big fish. Yeah. Go ahead, baby. Wait, what do you want? I want the 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 so deserves um it's been a minute since i've seen him and i'm excited so let's go get this beef noodle soup and cookie action yeah. Thank you. <laughs> it made it all the way yes. <laughs> It's back. Nero man, my favorite. Uncle introduced this to me already. And we're back. And we're back. Welcome back. Thank you. Saboye. <laughs> Long time no see. <laughs> dropping off Kame at grandparents right now because I'm gonna do a gym sesh this morning. Mommy's gonna go to the gym, is that okay? Can I go work out? Yeah. Okay. No, I wanna go with mama. You wanna go Hey guys, happy fourth. All right, before anyone says anything, I got Starbucks, but that's because I have that birthday treat thing and you can literally order whatever you want on them. I got a dirty matcha and then it has a salted caramel foam topping. And then I added extra cinnamon crumble top. Mm, I like that little cinnamon crumb topping. It is my birthday today. And I said I was gonna go get fireworks yesterday, but I ended up doing a deep clean of the house. Yesterday it was 4th of July in Papa's time zone. So they did their live performance at five in the morning here, uh, which I couldn't watch. So I'll just watch the playback later. I didn't wake up until 8 a.m. today. Kame woke up um, crying at around three in the morning. <laughs> Yeah, 
mom, I think he had a nightmare because he was talking about a spider. I think the family wants to do something later. Hmm, this is actually really good. It's also made with oat milk, by the way. Let's get this workout session in. This is gonna be a leg day today. Just kidding about going to the actual gym gym. It was packed everywhere and I was tired of just driving around in circles. So I was like, I'm just gonna go. But anyways, I'm at the firework booth now. <laughs> um, I was just thinking that I wanted to get something that Kami can play with. I don't know if they have it, hopefully they do. I think last year they sold out of it, but it's like the little rock popper things where you throw on the floor and it pops because I think at least he can play with that. They sold out of the little popper thing. So I just asked what was kid friendly. So I got the sparklers, of course. You can throw buy one, get one. She recommended these. These ones, they're like lotus flower bombs. So when you put them on the floor, it kind of like spins in circle. I don't know if he would freak out like last year. Well, time to go home and let's see what the family wants to do. I got it, mommy. I gotta tie up your hair too. When you eat, it's gonna be really hot. Mommy. Oh, Uncle. Uncle's gonna drive separately. Where's Dada? Dada's uh, not home yet. He comes home tomorrow. Real cute. Thanks, baby. <laughs> What do you eat? <laughs> it's all he has. <laughs> I guess I'll fill him up. Very good. No, you jump by that dirty by your shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dirty. Yeah, dirty. They have sashimi for all you can eat, too. Oh, you probably like that one. That one has a lot of onions. Oh, yeah. Mmm. This is salmon belly, yellowtail belly. They give us uni. Baby, we need the shrimp to eat the hat. So I gotta go back to mama and get feed one. Come here, baby. Come here, come back. Let's eat. I have right in my mind for you. It's the money. I'll get more than most. Try it. Let's try it. Let's try it. Chew, 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 chew. Let's use you on it. Wow. Yeah. Thank you. You want to try this? Yes, sir. You guys are silly. Yes, silly. Okay, ready to go? You want to shower? Yeah. Lisa's giving me birthday nails. Yeah. Working. Working. Oh, yeah. I think the last one I did make my last perfect. Really? Yeah, I don't remember doing my nails. These are the final results. Thank you, Lisa. Yes. I want pets. You want to take a nap? Yeah. Oh my goodness. We have Jay Show here. By the way, Jay Show is running for president. <laughs> Vote for Jay Show, everybody. <laughs> it's a strawberry matcha cake. Okay. Cake. Shall we try it together? Sure. Okay. The Jay Show's visiting. Um, he just got done with an event. He was actually fancier earlier, so now he's just back to um, farmer life. <laughs> the Jay Show was here last year for my birthday celebration. Oh, yeah. Yeah. At Magic Night. Yeah, we still had our shop. I remember. I came with us last year. I did buy fireworks. I remember <laughs> we had fireworks. We had the sabers and the. Okay. Should I get plates or do you want to just eat like yeah, this? Yeah, we just eat like sandwiches. Okay. Part. Yeah. You like my nails? Lisa did them. Oh, wow. Matcha on uh -huh, uh -huh. the inside. Is it good? Not what you're expecting. Oh. That has an interesting texture. I like the strawberry part though. It's grainy on the bottom. It is grainy. It has like a grainy taste and it looks like cheesecake, but it doesn't taste like cheesecake. Such an interesting. <laughs> yeah, it tastes like a strawberry mousse. Yeah. With yeah. a grainy crust. It's like a wet graham cracker. Yeah, exactly. <sighs> oh, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my dang. Oh, I think like you know? maybe a six. It's not bad. Would I don't you think I'd buy it again. again. Yeah. No, not myself. What is your matter, my love? Okay, hey, come for mama. Want me to break it for you? Yeah, give me dinner. Mm. Hot and sour soup, kung pao chicken. What's this, pops? I don't know. The hot in Chinese we call tung xin chai. You want huh? chicken, chicken too? too? Okay, yeah, give it. That's really good. The kung pao chicken. Mmm. Oh, oh. mm -hmm. Wow. 
Oh, you want a straw? Yeah. Last year, Kami was scared of fireworks, so we're gonna see how he is this time. Bubby, come here. You're not scared? Not scary. Not scary. Nothing. Nothing. I told you. You scared? No. Uncle Auntie. Uncle Auntie, come. Okay, come watch. Come, watch. Oh! <laughs> Don't get this one. This one did absolutely nothing. It was like burning a newspaper and watching the newspaper burn. It's very bad. <laughs> Come, are you scared? Yeah. Yeah? No, 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 no much. You're not scared. Where's the firework? Right there. That ends July 4th. There's still fireworks going on outside. It's pretty loud, actually. It sounds like... It's too loud. It's too loud, huh, baby? It is, but it's fireworks. You hear the fireworks? Yeah. It's pretty loud. Yeah. Kame took a nap earlier around 5, and he woke up at 6. So he's probably going to go to sleep pretty late. It's currently 10 p.m. right now. I think he's going to fall asleep at midnight. Kame still has energy. I'll turn off the light and he'll just talk in the dark until 12. Papa comes home tomorrow. He should arrive around evening time. I haven't really got to talk to Papa all day. But it sounds like the performance that they did went well. Today was a great day spent with family. Nothing too crazy, just nice and simple. My friend Jay Show came to visit. Where's Shushu? Shushu went home. Mommy has like an itchy eye right now. Say good night, Jamma fam. Nice day, Hey, Gemma. Gemma. Bam. Bam. Good night, you guys. set up yesterday i didn't get to finish it because the moment i came home did a few workouts we went out to lunch with family i gotta run a few errands for something very special that's happening we're doing a little collaboration with i'm not gonna say it yet until it's released but we're gonna release it first on our social the other thing that i was thinking of doing was making banana bread because i have two ripe bananas that I need to get rid of from the kitchen right now. But yes, let's do some legs. Okay guys, I'm gonna finish my last set. 45, 10, and 5. I was just looking at a video of me working out when I was 25 weeks pregnant with Kame. We were lifting at barbell. This was the weight that I was doing.
Guess what, baby? Daddy's coming home today. Okay. You want to see Daddy later? Mm-hmm. You want to take a nap today or no? No. Okay. We'll play for a little bit, and then Daddy comes home, huh? Oh. Get hungry. Okay. <laughs> You want Yeah. Or drink you, mommy? Mm hmm. I'll do it after. <sighs> I'm making Play Doh, homemade Play Doh for Kame. Just gave him a shower. Papa landed in San Francisco an hour ago. He should be home in a few hours. Huh? Because I have to do two different colors. You want blue one? Yeah. Okay. Silly mama. I didn't put gloves on. Look at my hands. I'm a smurf. I'm bluey. You're bluey? I'm bluey. Give me faster. I'm going as fast as I can, Kami. Mommy's almost there. What are you guys what it looks like now? It's getting softer the more water I add into it. Thank you. Ooh, that's a pretty color. You see me? Yeah, I see you. <laughs> it looks good, dude. That looks cool. We made this sign for Papa when he comes home. Oh, look at this. Is so it cute? Say, hi, Dada. Yeah. Okay, go. Show Mama. Hi, Dada. Dada home. Dada home. Okay, practice. Go. Dada home. Dada home. Cookie, come. 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 Cookie, come. Good girl. Come. Wait, that's one shot. Come. No, come in. You missed it. <laughs> Healthy banana bread with low sugar. Let's give it a taste. It smells really good and they feel really moist. Mm -hmm. It's really moist. You're hungry? We're gonna get food right now. We have to wait for daddy to get out of the shower. Kame loves it. This is how much damage we did on the banana bread so far. Look who's finally home! Mm. <laughs> yeah! I was just telling Papa. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, way belated now. Is it? Is it? it was yesterday. It was yesterday. Wow! <laughs> when is like 4th of July was two days ago? What was I just telling you? That you tried setting up the camera. Oh, to surprise you? Yeah. I was trying to set up the camera to surprise him. I was like struggling and Papa's already pulling up. So he just got the video of Kami holding the sign. <laughs> I told you, mommy. I told you. Why didn't you tell me anything? Daddy's home, daddy's home. Okay, hey, welcome home, Dada. Bye -bye. Uh, thanks, baby. Hey, <laughs> mama. Uh -huh. That's me? Yeah. That's that's us, baby. <laughs> that's us. <laughs> that's you. We were supposed to light up the sparklers too, but I was a holding comic. You know when they like bring out the bottle service? Oh yeah. I was just telling him that it felt like even though it's only he's only been gone for a week, it felt like forever. I'm like Donna. You know and Donna has no concept of time. You go away for five minutes and she thinks it's been years. Alright, well, Papa's home and now we're finally getting to no veggies. <laughs> hey, I just want to give a shout out to our friend Coco for sending us all of these skincare products. But what we really only wanted was this. This is a moisturizer from China. It's really, really good. But all these other stuff were just extras that she sent us <laughs> as a gift. So thank you, Coco. Obviously, like these ones are face masks, but these other ones, I have no idea what they're for because they're in Chinese. We'll, we'll figure it out. Well, this was just, you know, my baby. Uncle gave a gift to our family. Yeah. And, uh, really nothing. It's just, you know. Whoa! <laughs> Tommy, look! Whoa, look at this wrapping. <laughs> Wait, why is this so primo, dude? I don't know if you guys can see, but it's like... Bro. The bro. wrapping itself feels expensive. Yeah. 
<laughs> Dude, what? It's like glittered out. Luxury silk. This is for newborn oh, did diapers. You, did you tell him that we were expecting? Oh, yeah, no. He was like one of the first people that knew. <laughs> like outside our family, he was like one of the first people that knew. I want to just keep this wrapping. It's so nice, right? Eh? Her first diapers are just like... I know, and she's like, I don't want anything else but... Oh, there it is. Thank you so much, brother. Thanks, Nelson Wayne. What the heck is this, though? Why did you have a whole suitcase dedicated to diapers? I, I, I That's hilarious. Thoughtful man. Okay, Papa Kiss. Oh. Okay, you want to close out the video, Kame? Okay, bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Make sure to like. Like. Comment. Comment. Subscribe. Subscribe. Hit the bell. The bell. Ding! Ding! I see you next time. Mm -hmm. Whoa!